After watching this video, you will be confident in answering this question in any interview. If you want to cover all the .NET interview questions, then please click on like and subscribe buttons. So let's start. This is the next level question on caching. If you have any confusion on basic caching, then you can check out my previous videos. The question here is what is in-memory caching and distributed caching? When to use in-memory caching and when to use distributed caching? Let's see the differences first. By the differences, we can understand what are in-memory caching and distributed caching. So let's see the what is in-memory caching. In-memory caching is the normal way of caching. So the caching we know until now is in-memory caching only. The basic caching is in-memory caching. In this, cache is stored in the memory of a single server, which is also hosting the application. So that is in-memory caching. So basically here, the server which is hosting the application is also storing the cache. So that is in-memory caching. Now what is distributed caching? Distributed caching is when you want to handle caching outside of your application. A different server is used to store cache data. So this is also doing caching, but here we are using a different server. So the difference you can see in in-memory caching, we are using the single server for hosting the application and storing the cache data. But in distributed caching, we are using a different server for storing the cache data. So this is the main difference. Now the second thing is in-memory caching can be implemented with the help of iMemory cache interface in ASP.NET Core. So this is how we can implement the in-memory caching in ASP.NET Core. Whereas distributed caching can be implemented with the help of Redis cache. Now what is Redis cache we will discuss but how to implement uh, caching in ASP.NET Core uh, that we will not do here because otherwise it will be a very very long discussion. So just for a higher level idea we should know high memory cache interface will help in implemented implementing in memory cache and Redis cache will help in implementing distributed caching in ASP.NET Core application. Now what is Redis cache? So basically Redis is an open source highly replicated performant non-relational kind of database and caching server. So you do not have to remember all these things open source highly replicated performant but just remember that Redis is a distributed caching server. That's it. Now how it works? It works something like this in this diagram. So here application server is different the radish cache server is different so basically this radish cache is getting the data from the database which is frequently required frequently requested we can say or frequently required and then it will serve it to the application server in a very fast manner so you can think it or it of as of a user service or sql server so this is the working of the Redis server. Sorry, Redis caching server. Now the next part is when to use which type of caching. When we should go with in-memory caching and when to use distributed caching. Now here, in normal scenarios or cases where the application size is small, use in-memory cache. Because maintaining a separate server for caching can be overhead or complex thing for a simple application and it will be very expensive. So that's why uh, for normal applications use in memory cache. But where application size is very big and if it is using microservices based architecture, then prefer distributed caching. So this is when to use which type of caching. Uh, I hope you understand the differences between these two types of caching. Uh, if you have any query, then please post in the comment section and I would be very happy to answer those questions.